Hey everyone, in this video, I'll take you through a beginner's guide to AI Tubo. In order to do so, here we are at app.aitubo.ai, and we're all logged in. Once you're logged in, you should be met with a screen similar to this. And on the main screen here, we can see that we have a trending chart. And if we scroll down, we can see different models and galleries that uh, have been created so you can get an idea for what other people have done with AI Tubo and just scrolling down there are some really neat uh, examples here that other people have created so you can go through and if you just select any of these then you can pull that up and you can take a look at the prompt that has been used and this is a good way of learning how to do your own prompts and to get similar results depending on what you're looking for. So on the left-hand side, there's a few options here for us to take a look at. The first thing we might want to take a look at here is our credits. And if you click here where it says check in, then you could see that you can earn daily tokens for logging in. So that's something to take into consideration. They do provide some daily tokens that you can use and you can do some basic image generation and a few other things. However, you will find with AI Tubo that certain options are behind the subscription wall. So we'll take a closer look at that. In the meantime, if you do want to upgrade, you can select this here and you can see that there are a variety of options that they have available. You can pay yearly or you can pay monthly. And the pro subscription is $60 a month Canadian. So that's something to take into consideration. Let's go ahead and head back here and we'll just take an overview of everything that AI Tubo has to offer. So first off, we, ha we have our galleries and we have the models that are used. And under tools, you'll see that we have a variety of tools here to take a look at. We've got the image generator, the video generator, a music generator, a dance generator, a headshot generator, a face swap, an image editor, a talking avatar, AI chat, and AI laboratory. We'll take a closer look at these here. Let's go ahead and start with the image generator. And here you can see that we can add our prompt. If we want to do a random prompt, then we can just click on that right there. We have our models and our Lauras that we can select. Here we have styles. If we want to choose a specific style, then you can choose that there. And then with the Lauras, we have a few different Lauras here that you can play around with. And depending on what it is that you're looking for, you can add that there. On the left-hand side, you'll see here that we have the prompt enhance. So if you toggle that on, then AI Tubo will enhance your prompt, however it is that you entered that in there. And uh, it might add some additional um, instructions that you might not want. So just keep that in consideration if you toggle that then you might want to modify some of the details because sometimes it adds some details that you might not be looking for. From there, we have number of images that we can generate uh, with each generation. We have the dimensions to the image. We have our seed down here. And you can see that in order to generate four images, it's going to cost us 90 credits. So if we don't have the credits for that, then you might want to drop it down. And you can see there that it's going to cost us 57 credits. And keep in mind that with the daily credits, that puts us at 72. So you're only going to be getting here a couple of uh, generations with that. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're going to be using AI Tubo. Uh, they do provide you quite a few credits with the subscription, but the daily credits are usually only enough for a couple of image generations. Let's go ahead to the video generator. And from here, you can see that we can do an uh, image uh, to video from text. So if we have just, uh, sorry, if we could do a video generation from text. So if you just have an idea that you want to play around with, then you can type 
whatever it is that you wish here. So we could say a city skyline, just something simple. And then hit generate and AI Tubo will give us an example of our city skyline. You have a couple of other options to take a look at. We have our duration here. We have our aspect ratio. We have the prompt enhance. And something to take note of is that if you see here where it says generate, it does say pro. So the only way that you can use the image generator is to have a pro subscription. So that's something to take into consideration. Even though you do get the free credits, that is not enough for the pro subscription. So we are somewhat limited to more or less just the uh, image generation. There might be a couple of other things here to take a look at, but uh, in addition to that, it, we have the image generation. If you have your own image already prepared, then you can put that here. You can add your prompt. There's our duration, our aspect ratio, and then we can click generate down at the bottom. Here from reference, if we have a specific upload image that we want to use as a reference, then we can type in our prompt and then hit generate there as well. Let's go ahead and head back here to the main menu and we'll take a look at the music generator. And here with the music generator, you can see that we have a uh, option to either go with simple mode or with custom mode. There's also three different models they have available. Typically speaking, you're probably gonna wanna go with the, the most up-to-date one, which is 4.0. We have the simple mode and the custom mode. So with simple mode, we're just entering in a very simple idea for our song. In this case, the example is a light jazz song for Walk in the Rain. If we go to custom mode, then we have a few more options to play with. We can toggle the instrumental mode on and off. And if we do so, then we, if we have that off, then we have the option here to enter in our own lyrics. So you can do that if you wish. If you have it on, then it's just going to be instrumental, so no lyrics. But we do have a uh, place here to enter in our title and also the style. With the style, here you have a few subcategories to look through. So we have the genre. You can see a variety of different uh, genre, uh, genres here that we could select from a vibe so if we want something that's chill or energetic or romantic there's a few different vibes here we can choose for our song we have tempos slow normal fast and we have instruments so if you want specific instruments in your song then this is where you can select those and once you have selected everything you wish then you can come down here and click generate Let's go ahead and head back to the main menu. Now, just to point out that does say pro. So that is another thing that's behind the pro subscription. And if we go back here to the main menu, the next thing we have is our AI dance generator. So with the dance generator, what you can do is you can enter in an image. You can see here we have a few examples. And then you can choose a template and it's going to take your image and it's going to add the movement, whichever template it is that you choose from. So you can play around with this. And this is something that is going to cost, looks like 175 credits, a little bit hidden there, but it looks like 175 credits in order to generate that. So again, keep that in mind. It is somewhat limited in what you can do based on the amount of credits it gives you. Next, we have the headshot generator. And here we can put in our image, whatever it is, and we can generate a variety of headshots. So you can see here, here's our base image, and then it has generated these different headshots. So that's something that you can play around with. It is 25 credits for a single image. So that's something else that you can take a look at. And we have the face swap. So let's go ahead and take a look at face swap. So in this case, we can add our face and then we can add the original. So if uh, this is an example here, so we have our original here and then we have the face that we've added so that we can make Iron Man look like Elon Musk. Let's head back here and take a look at the next option. So next here we have the image editor. 
So if you're at all familiar with Leonardo AI, then this is similar. You can bring in your image. Let's go ahead and test this out really quick. We'll just bring in something random. So you can see we've brought in our image. And then from here, if we want to make specific edits to our image, if we want to, for example, take the guns out, or if we wanted to change the style of the gun, then we can move our focus bar and then we can paint the area. We can change the brush size and then we can paint the area that we want to change. And then down here, we can specify what it is that we're looking for. So let's say uh, instead of guns, we want nunchucks. So then we can go there and then we can hit generate. And then what AI Tubo is gonna do is it's gonna give us four different options that we can cycle through and we can choose whichever one we want to see there. Let's go ahead and head back there uh, to the main menu. And here we can see we have the talking avatar. So here we can upload our image and then we can enter in our text script or we can put in an audio script. So if we just wanna type out what we want our character to say, we can do that. But if you go to audio, then you can actually upload your own voice and you can put that on whatever image you want. And we'll just head back here and we'll take a look at AI chat, which is still in beta. And this is where you can select from different characters and you can chat with them. So if you just hover over, you can see here, you see the option to chat. So if you wanna chat with any of the AI characters here, then you can go ahead and do that. Finally, we'll take a look at the AI laboratory. And here you can see that we see again the headshot generator. We also have super resolution. So if we want to upscale an image, we can do that. We can use phantom, which is to create illusion artwork with our uh, images that we input. So that's something that you might wanna play around with. We have the background remover. So as it states there, it'll remove the background for you. We have our face swap and we have our AI dance, which we've already seen here in the main menu. So that gives you an idea of everything that AI Tubo is capable of. If it's something that appeals to you, then I would say you can come in and get your daily credits and play around and see what you can get out of that. But realistically, the most you're gonna get out of it is if you subscribe to the pro subscription. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.